this video we will look at a general version of the neural network called the feed forward network. In the previous videos we had seen what an artificial neuron was. A feed forward network or a simple neural network the term that you would have heard most commonly is basically a collection of neurons. Each of these units here is a neuron. Now each of these neurons or each of these layers which are vertically, con vertically concatenated have a specific name. The very first layer is called the input layer. We had seen this during logistic regression even uh, in linear regression. So you will have multiple features. This is the input vector. The intermediate layers here are called hidden layers. You could have multiple hidden layers. If the number of hidden layers is greater than 1, then it is called a deep network. Hence the name deep learning. So a deep network is simply a network with the number of hidden layers greater than 1. The final layer where you actually get the output you are interested in is called output layer. So you have our predictions, we have our predictions here, y1 hat, remember hat is used for predictions up till whatever is the number of classes that we are predicting for. Remember k in general need not be equal to n and in general each layer might have a different size. So these are the elements. Now each of these elements here is an artificial neuron. Technically speaking, we can even treat the input layers as if they were neurons, but generally it is only after the input layer that we look at each of these neurons and call them an artificial neuron. Remember that within each neuron, we have two portions, we have a linear combination and we have a nonlinear uh, activation function sitting there. Now if I look at any neuron here, so for example this neuron, it has inputs coming from all the previous entities in the input layer. Okay. So for example, so this neuron here has n inputs plus even though not explicitly shown here, you will have a bias unit which will be coming in here. So for this neuron, you have n weights. from the input layer. Okay. So let us take a general neuron or a general set of neurons in some hidden layer. So let us say this is layer L. Okay. For example, this one would be layer 1, this one would be layer 2, hidden layer 1, hidden layer 2. Okay. Let us say we have layer L where all these neurons are there and you have a prior layer. this is layer L minus 1. Let us say further that this layer had n neurons and this layer M oh sorry L has m neurons. So this means the total number of weights required assuming every neuron is connected to every other neuron would be n times m plus the bias units. 
Now, how many bias units do we have in such a case? Okay. Now, if I consider this neuron, for example, this takes input from all these n plus one bias. Okay. Now, if I take this one, it also takes all these n plus a different bias. Okay. So, each neuron gets a different bias. So, in this case, if we look at these m neurons, you have n times m, which are normal weights, the number of bias weights will be equal to m, okay? because each of these neurons has a different bias. So, the total number of weights in such a case is n m plus m. In a feed forward network, all you need to do is you give all these x i's. If you give x vector and all the weights in every layer, we can find out y hat vector. Okay. So, this is called the feed forward process. Basically, you feed in the x, you also give all the w's of every single layer here. And simply by taking a linear combination, non-linearity, linear combination, non-linearity, linear combination, non-linearity, you can predict all the y. So, this is called the feed forward process. Such a network where all neurons are connected to every other neurons are called fully connected networks the ge in the general case you need not always have all connections active in fact we will see later in convolutional neural networks that we have only some of these uh, weights which are non zero and most of them are zero which means each neuron is connected only to a few other neurons in the previous layer so that would be a special case but in the most general case you can think of a fully connected network sometimes simply called fc network the assumption behind the feed forward process is you know all the weights and you know all the input uh, neurons later on we will see when we come to back propagation how to actually determine these weights 